guys, it's Bunny and today I'm opening up a whole load of Funko Pops because apparently this is a Funko channel now. I posted one Funko video and apparently now I'm actually posting them on YouTube now like a nerd. I actually ordered two, I think, of the Pops myself and then the other ones are all mysteries. My mum convinced me to get quite a few more and she's kind of paid for them so in a way, hashtag sponsored by my mum. I don't know how many Funko Pops were in the mystery kind of lineup so I don't know anything what I've got, I don't know if it's on sale, I don't know nothing, but I'm quite excited to open them up because it's, it's a lot, let me show you. I've got one of these long boxes, oh wait, no, sorry, I've got two of these long boxes, and then I've got another two of these smaller boxes, which I believe have two pops in each. I think if my maths is working, I've got ten pops here, I believe, I think so, I've got ten Funko Pops, so let's see what I've got. I'm hoping the two that I've ordered myself are going to be in the smaller boxes, but I have no idea. So let's open it up. I've literally got like no hint on the outside. So this could be another mystery one. So I'm going to try and do this so that you guys can see as well. I also want to be very clear that I am probably not going to know who a lot of these characters are. Oh, okay. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. This, I think this is the box of mine. I just saw a star on the, um like number the number was a star i didn't read the number i didn't do nothing like that but i'm just gonna i'm not gonna look down but i'm gonna show you guys so my eyes are closed are these my two hello kitty pops are they no <gasps> i'm not gonna lie i was actually gonna say the star looks like a care bears pop but i didn't want to say that this is No Heart with Book. If you don't know, I'm a massive Care Bears fan, so I'm very excited to have this Care Bears pop. Oh my god, I've literally been wanting the bears on the back, but I've been stopping myself from buying them because I can't really justify buying a lot of pops at once. The fact this cost me £5 for No Heart with Book, I could stop. I was actually planning on telling you guys the prices that come up on the Funko app. But obviously I can't go on the Funko app, so I'm on Hobby DB or Pop Price Guide. And this has an estimated value of $15. Oh, sorry. This has an estimated value of $15, apparently. But it does say buy for $45. So I'm not too sure what exactly it's like officially worth. But I'm very happy to have this. I'm like really excited about it. Other one I've got in here is the Darth Vader Glitter Diamond Diamond Edition, which is limited uh edition 5000 pieces. I am not really a Star Wars fan, but I think this is my first ever diamond pop, I believe. And it's pretty cool. I'm not going to lie. Like I'm not going to pretend I know anything about Star Wars, but this is cool. And looking this one up it's coming up with $15 as well. It doesn't have a buy now number, but that's pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie. As much as I'm not a big Star Wars fan, I... The box on it's just really cool as well. Like, I just think that box is really pretty. So, I don't know. Tell me what you guys think. I, I don't know enough about Star Wars to be able to give you a real opinion, but I think it's pretty cool. That's our first box empty. I think I'm going to go for the other one that's the same size because I think this might be my Hello Kitty ones then. They did have three on the website and I only managed to get two of them. The other one was sold out and I think it was the one I wanted the most that was sold out. But let's see what we get. I'm just, I'm buzzed about that Care Bears one. Okay, so I'm not looking but I'm like 90% sure it will be. So you guys can, I, I accidentally looked, I did not mean to. But here we go. Okay, it's still not the two that I ordered which is very odd to me but i like how these ones are both marvel this is another funko exclusive one this is the um black light loki from for ragnarok i think is how you say it i actually i like the black light ones i think i've got one black light figure myself and this one has an estimated value of 27 dollars and it has a buy now for 25 but i think that's pretty snazzy I quite like that. I like that the hair is purple. I'm like, I have a big weakness for the hair colours on the black light pops and I really like the hair on this one. So I think that's pretty cool. And the fact that the eyebrows match and just, I like this one. I don't really understand much about this, but I like it. And the other one that I've got is Gambit from X-Men. I don't remember this character really. I'm sorry, I know that's probably like really bad. 
This pop is estimated at $21, by the way, and it's production status is exclusive. I haven't said that for all of them, but for this one I am. I... I don't know. I, I don't know what Gambit looks like. I'm going to Google that as well. But I don't really... So looking up Gambit and looking at this, I'm not really a fan of the pop. I also don't think there's a movie for it, which is why I don't recognise the character. Um, it's in the comics. So that's why I don't really like recognise the character. I have watched the X-Men movies. I have not read the comics. I'd have done a lot better if I got Cyclops from this or Magneto, I'll be honest. But even then, I don't know. I don't like the Magneto as much on this, on the pops. But that's cool. It's also a Funko exclusive one. All of these so far have been exclusives or limited editions, so I will say that. Okay, now we're going to open one of these ones, which is the ones with free. And the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to reach in, close my eyes and show you guys. Because I definitely don't think I can carry this one up by myself. So I'm reaching in. My eyes are closed and oh my god this is my first freddy this is my first freddy one this is bedtime freddy and proto proto is the dog i love pops that come with like the little guys inside that's why i call them the little guys i've actually been thinking of buying a freddy funko funko pop for quite a while but i've never really seen one that i thought you know what that one i definitely need and i'd rather wait until i got one that i definitely need so I actually quite like this. I think that's quite cute. I really just do like the look of the pop. So I'll say that. And this is not there. And this is again a Funko.com exclusive. But I just think that's really cool. It's got an estimated value of $11. But it does say buy for $30 on underneath. But I, I think it's quite cool. I don't know. I think that's pretty cool. I like that it's got a little guy. Okay, so next one. Closing my eyes and getting ready to show you. What is it? It's another Freddy! And this one is another one that I actually kind of wanted. This is part of the Heavy Metal Halloween 2023. And it's the Freddy Bones one. It's another um, full convention limited edition. Getting two Freddy Funkos from this is actually quite cool. This one has an estimated value. I don't even know what of because they've got a few different looks of it. I think this has an estimated value of $24 to $70. If I've got that correctly, but there's quite a few different ones that they've got. They've got a blacklight one, which looks really cool, um, as well as another one, which has a different outfit on. So I think the differences are the outfits, I believe, but the outfits kind of look hard to see in the boxes. So I think... I think this is the $24 to $70 one, but I may be wrong. But either way, I like it. I don't want to sell this one. I'm actually a massive fan of it. I like this little bag. I like that it's like skeleton with a hat, like a mask of actual Freddy, which you can kind of see better on the side if I show you that. So that one I'm definitely cool about. And I'm guessing this one is not going to be my Hello Kitty one. So my Hello Kitty one is going to be in the next box. Hello Kitty ones, I should say. So... Let's see, it'd be so funny if it's another Freddy. I don't know if this is upside down or not to show you guys. I think it might be. I don't know. This is another Gambit. <laughs> it's another one. Okay, I'm, I'm not really a fan of this one, as I said already. So, I don't know. I'll probably keep one just for collection purposes. And maybe sell the other one. I'm not too sure yet. But yeah, you kind of know what you're getting when it comes to mysteries. You know you're probably going to get multiple of the same. So I, I'm not mad that I've got a duplicate. I mean, I bought eight of these, I'm pretty sure. But, I don't know. I'd have rather a duplicate of one of the ones I liked a bit more. Now I know the Care Bears are involved in this. I kind of wish there was an actual Care Bear you could get. I don't know if there is. But that would be pretty cool. I don't know if you could just get like one of, like a random one on the website or what. But let's see what I got. Okay, I'm trying to make sure I give you guys the right way up. I think that should be this way. So, my eyes are closed. Who is it? It's the Hello Kitty! It's the glitter one. I think this is really cool, obviously. This was the exclusive one to the Funko Shop, I believe. I don't think the other two are. You can see the other two on here. Um, so you've got the cake one and then the one with the balloon. I can't remember which one it was that I wanted more off the top of my head, but that's the one that we did not have. I think it might have been the cake, but 
my brain is like not there enough to remember right now but yeah the actual pop itself has like a really i don't even know if you can see that in the box but it's got like a really fine glitter on it and then it's got like glitter on there it even looks different on here because it's not got the glitter on there so i wonder if there's like another version i'm gonna look this one up anyway i mean it's probably gonna be difficult to find glitter hello kitty but oh no i found it this is just 15 dollars. obviously this is a current pop it's not like anything like that but the version of this that's on the side i think is one that is worth it's like slightly different but it's 175 dollars. so i don't know but i like this one i think it's really cute obviously i wanted this one this is like one that i actually really wanted so that that's not a mystery i knew i was getting this i don't have much more to say so the one next to it should be my other kitty pop but i'm just gonna i'm gonna not even close my eyes it is oh it was a cake one that i got and it must have been the balloon one that i wanted i told you i couldn't really remember i quite like this i do see some like kind of defects i guess on her face there's like a little mark because it's metallic you can see it a bit more it's like a little like the opposite of an indentation i don't think you're going to be able to see that but she's just so pretty i don't even know if i'm going to keep her in box that's a lie i'm going to keep her in box and maybe buy another one to keep out of box because i think the box is just really nice and yeah this one's obviously going to be 15 dollars. i'm not even going to look that one up and finally we have our last um mystery one so let's see my eyes are closed no they're not that was a lie they were not closed i meant to and this is luffy gear 2 another special edition funko the only non-special edition one is this one and i already knew that going into it but yeah this has the little funko sticker on it um i've never watched one piece i can't say much about it i've never watched one piece i'm definitely happy with what i got obviously i knew that i'm gonna get some things that i don't like but I am a little sad that the thing that I got two of was the one that I don't like the most. So this one has a couple different versions. I believe this one is $19. Um, but I mean, I don't really know much about it. So I can't say much. Uh, I like the look of it though. If I look on the side, I think that one actually looks really cool. I think this one's a really detailed piece. So I'm not sad about it. I like it. Maybe I'll start watching One Piece just so I know who this character is and more about it. But I think just from seeing it there, you can't see it inside the box so much, but on the outside of the box, it looks really cool. All these pops as well were in amazing condition. None of them had any kind of like funky boxes. I do always get a bit worried ordering online that they might have some funky boxes. I like a little bit of damages. I mean, I don't know, but I'm very happy with the condition they were in. None of them were in like bad condition. I'm really happy about what I got. I'm really happy that I got my two first Freddy Funkos and they're both incredibly cool looking Freddies. The only thing that I'm not so happy about is this one because I've got two of it and like I don't have a way to customize these like so many of these I could have customized but this one I just I don't know how to customize it. I'm also like really happy that I managed to get a Care Bears Funko Pop. I find that amazing. I, I've been such a Care Bears fan ever since I was a kid and I have like I think one or two Funko Pops of Care Bears. But the fact that I managed to get this one makes me really happy. I think one of them I've got is the I Care Bear or something like that. It's the one that came from Primark and it had the um, like normal kind of cardboard box. And then that box kind of got destroyed. And then I believe I've got a diamond edition of one. Or one that has a diamond edition that I didn't get the diamond edition one. I can't quite remember. But I'm, I'm very happy about this. I mean, I don't know. I recommend getting them 100%. You're going to get at least one you like if you buy eight of them you'll probably get a duplicate but you'll definitely get something that you love i hope you guys like this video though if you did please give it a massive thumbs up i mean i definitely had fun making this i also kind of want to get the kevers comics completely unrelated but i want to get the kevers comics so tell me what you think should i show them off to you guys i don't want to become like a little nerd collecting channel that, that's not me that, i'm not just a little nerd collecting person <laughs> I'm a collector, but I'm not typically a collector of, like, nerd stuff. But I like showing off everything I collect. I, I don't know. 